part of that. Action. Already weakened by mismanagement of our natural resources, our local economy has been struck particularly hard by the recent economic downturn. While the government has worked hard to bail out those at the top, workers at the bottom end of the wage spectrum have received no bailout. While the major corporations' profits have recovered to record levels on the backs of people who are paid minimum wage or enslaved in sweatshops and prisons. We are moving into the fourth straight year without a raise in the minimum wage. We are here today to reverse that trickle-down system with the bottom-up approach. By putting more money into the hands of the lowest paid workers, we will stimulate local business. Moreover, we will raise the workers and their families out of poverty and give them more opportunities to raise families, own homes, and educate their children. Large corporations have gutted the manufacturing sectors of this economy, and now we must prevent them from doing the same irreparable damage to the retail and service sectors. Large outside corporations, like and especially Walmart, have the rest of us tax-paying residents to supplement their employees. By not giving benefits and paying low wages, the high cost of those low prices are more food stamp costs, more medical costs at the local emergency room where the uninsured go to get their care. With the Fair Wage Act, we are taking action to stop the flow of dollars out of the community to Wall Street and investment bankers, keeping those dollars here in the local community. We have targeted larger employers that have the ability to pay a fair wage. We are going to force the Walmarts of the world to be good neighbors or to go back to Arkansas.